Welcome back everyone. So in this video, we are going to see a uh, Infosys coding question and uh, which is asked in 2022 hiring. So hi everyone, I am Shubham Agarwal. I am a software engineer by profession and a coding educator by passion. So let's go further. Yeah, so if you have not joined uh, our Discord community till yet, please go and uh, join our Discord. Uh, we have a better community over there uh, where you will find the mentors and the prep insta squad where they will definitely help you if you have any query or doubts regarding to uh, regarding placements or anything. And please go and uh, follow our Instagram page. And because we are posting lots of hiring over there, yeah, and if you uh, want to join the WhatsApp group also, you can also join. Uh, you will get all the links in the video description of this. Okay, so before going further, let me show you how you can uh, go to this uh, prepinstaprime.com. Just uh, just hit uh, on the URL prepinstaprime.com. Uh, you will get this link in the description below. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is if you want to purchase this uh, platform, so Actually, you will not get only one or two courses. Actually, you will get an ample number of courses, around more than 100 courses. Uh, once you hit on this, you can uh, check out the course list. So you will get like more than 100 of courses over there. If you are focusing on the companies like service based, like Infosys, uh, TCS, Deloitte like that. Or if you want to uh, focus companies like on product based, like um, Amazon, Adobe, like Fang type of companies. And even if you are uh, focusing on for preparation for like AI, ML, <coughs> like blockchain, we have all the courses over there. You can just have a look on this. And the best thing here is you have to pay only for once for the whole platform, like you usually pay for Netflix or Amazon Prime. Right. So here also you will uh, get a access of prepinstaprime.com and prepinsta.com as well with the uh, uh, this. Okay. So if you want to see the demo videos also, you can go to this uh, demo videos. There are plenty number of de uh, demo videos you can watch. Uh, it's related to the quant reasoning, even coding also. Even you can uh, watch the videos as well. Uh, like this is the N Queen's problem. You can see the content like how it is and how the animation works, everything we have included in this course. So please have a look on it. Yeah, so let's back to the coding question. Okay, so the question says is, uh, one of the first lessons IT student learn is the representation of natural numbers in the binary number system base two. This system uses only two digits, zero and one. Yeah, so they have written like the first lesson IT students. Like, yeah, if you are uh, coming from even BCA, even if you are coming from BTEC, I think in your computer fundamentals in your first semester, you will definitely learn the uh, conversion of natural numbers in a binary number system, right? So in everyday life, we use for convenience the decimal number base 10, which use 10 digits from zero to nine. In general, we could use any numbering system. For example, computer scientists often use a uh, system based on eight or uh, octal or hexadecimal. The numbering system based on K uses K digits with a value from zero to K minus one. Okay. Then suppose a natural number M is given, uh, written in the decimal number. Okay. Then to convert it to the corresponding writing in the system based on K, we successfully divide M by K. Okay, we have to divide m by k until we reach the question that is lesser less than k. Okay, so the representation of m in the system based on k is performed by the final question as first digit and is followed the reminder of the previous divisions. Okay, so I think they have uh, written so much and it's too confusing. Let's go further uh, so that we can clear our confusion. Okay, so the example says if m equals to 1, 2, 2 and k equals to 8. So 1, 2, 2 is in the base 10. Okay, uh, which is nothing but our decimal. And if we convert uh, this into uh, base 10, sorry, base 8. See, 122 is in base 10, which is equal to 172 uh, when we convert into base 8. This means that the number in decimal number equals to 172 in octal system. Then 172 in base 10, if we convert this uh, into base 10, we will get 122. Okay, so what the question says is you made the following observation in applying the above rule to converting natural numbers to another natural uh, numbering system. Okay, so what we are doing is we are just converting from one uh, numbering system to another numbering system. So in some cases in the new representation of all the digits of the number are same. Okay, so for example, 63 in base 10 is triple three. 
in base 4. Okay, so what they are trying to say is 63 in base 10 is equal to triple 3 in base 4. Okay, so given a number, so the question says from here, till here it's just a story. So given a number m and its decimal representation, your task is to find the minimum base 10 such that in the representation of m at base 10 all digits are the same. Okay, so what they are trying to say is, uh, suppose this 63 is given and what we need to find is, we need to find the uh, number in any numbering system in any base, but it should be minimum base and the number should be as uh, all the digits are same. See, triple three, all three are same. And we got it in base four, right? So I think base one, sorry, base two and base three will not be uh, identical. Digits are not identical. So we got in four. So let's see uh, more. Uh, okay, so the input format will be like, we have given just a M, which is denoting the number given. And uh, M is given like less than is equal to 10 raised to power 12. Okay, so these are the sample inputs and output given to us. See, if we given m equals to one for uh, sorry uh, forty one, so we will get the output as forty. How? See, forty one is in base ten, and if we uh, find another numbering system, so we will get uh, will be forty base. Okay, so forty one in base. Uh, 41 in base 40 we will get 11 and 11 is uh, identical right because 11 one, one is other digit seems so like uh, let me take in another example see 34430 is nothing but in base 10 right and if we convert it into base uh, 34430312 we will get it uh, like uh, will all the digits will be the same so in the last 4524 in base 10 and if we convert it into base 77 we will get all the uh, numbers are same so like that we have to find i think this will be uh, simple because in infosys they have given around three seconds so we'll work this approach uh, even the brute force will also work so i'm going to reveal the brute force approach and if you want to uh, know the optimized efficient approach of this please join the course of infosys uh, at prepinstaprime.com Okay, so let's go further and see uh, what we can write the code of this. Uh, in the main function, I'm taking the input for M and I'll start from the base two. Yeah, right. Because in base one, nothing will occur, right? So from the base two, I, I want to check and what I will do is I will check like converted. If M and N, both are the parameters in converted uh, function. And if it is not equal to one, I'll increase the base. Okay, till I did not get the uh, answer, right? So if I'll get the answer, I'll return the base because I will come out of this while loop. So what I'm doing in converted function is, uh, I'm taking a reminder. Okay, uh, I'm mod base, that will give me the reminder. And uh, I'm just dividing, like suppose uh, there is something like uh, 18. And if we want to convert this into a binary, what we usually do is divide by two, nine, right? So my reminder is zero. Then I will divide this again. This will be four, uh, reminder one, two, two, zero, two, one, zero. So like this, my decimal number will be uh, one, zero, zero, one, zero, right? So like this, I, I am going to uh, write the code. So if M is uh, greater than equal to base, what I'm going to do is M mod base is not equal to uh, Reminder. If it is uh, means it is not equal to reminder, I'll return zero because it is not be possible because all the digits should be similar, right? So if uh, once I'll come out of this while loop, I will check if my m equal equals to reminder or not, right? If it is equal, then I'll return one that all the digits are same. Else, uh, I'll return zero. Yeah, it looks some somewhat uh, typical, but uh, just try to dry run this code. You will get everything so this brute force approach will also work in uh, in forces exam so i hope you got this approach and uh, uh, this question thank you